Blessed are ye if ye shall give heed unto the words of these twelve, whom I have chosen from among you to minister unto you and to be your servants. And again, more blessed are they who shall believe in your words, because that ye shall testify that ye have seen me and that ye know that I am. Blessed are the poor in spirit who come unto me, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And again, blessed are all they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. And blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. And blessed are all they who do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled with the Holy Ghost. And blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. And blessed are all the pure in heart, for they shall see God. And blessed are all the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. And blessed are all they who are persecuted for my name's sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. For ye shall have great joy and be exceedingly glad, for great shall be your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets who were before you. I give unto you to be the salt of the earth, but if the salt shall lose its savor, wherewith shall the earth be salted? The salt shall thenceforth be good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. I give unto you to be the light of this people. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Do men light a candle and put it under a bushel? Nay, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light to all that are in the house. Therefore, let your light so shine before this people that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. I have given you the law and the commandments of my Father that ye shall believe in me and that ye shall repent of your sins and come unto me with a broken heart and a contrite spirit. Behold, ye have the commandments before you, and the law is fulfilled. Therefore come unto me, and be ye saved. For except ye shall keep my commandments, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. It hath been said by them of old time that whosoever shall kill shall be in danger of the judgment of God. But whosoever is angry with his brother shall be in danger of his judgment. Therefore, if ye shall come unto me, or shall desire to come unto me, and rememberest that thy brother hath aught against thee, go thy way unto thy brother, and first be reconciled to thy brother, and then come unto me with full purpose of heart, and I will receive you. It is written by them of old time that thou shalt not commit adultery. But whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery already in his heart. I give unto you a commandment that ye suffer none of these things to enter into your heart. For it is better that ye should deny yourselves of these things wherein ye will take up your cross than that ye should be cast into hell. And it is written also that thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you and pray for them who despitefully use you and persecute you that ye may be the children of your Father who is in heaven. Those things which were of old time, which were under the law, in me are all fulfilled. All things are done away, and all things have become new. Therefore I would that ye should be perfect, even as I 
for your Father who is in heaven is perfect. When thou prayest, thou shalt not do so to be seen of men. When thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy Father who is in secret, and thy Father who seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. After this manner, therefore, pray ye. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. He cannot serve God and mammon. Remember the words which I have spoken, for behold, ye are they whom I have chosen to minister unto this people. Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, what ye shall put on. Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Judge not, that ye be not judged. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? First cast the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast the mote out of thy brother's eye. Ask, and it shall be given unto you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Therefore all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them, for this is the law and the prophets. Enter ye in at the straight gate, because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Beware of false prophets, who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. Wherefore by their fruits ye shall know them. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father who is in heaven. Therefore, whoso heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man who built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. 
And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man who built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Whoso remembereth these sayings of mine and doeth them, him will I raise up at the last day.